Okay, so now we are talking about filament continuity again. And now this is the part where I reveal the secret elixir to uh, ensure that your filament keeps uh, living a happy long life, that the impurities do not get exponentially worse and will not compromise the lifespan of your vacuum tube. And what is the secret of that? So last time I have shown that when you have your filament, this is the um, magnified cross-section of a filament, or I would say longitudinal section, and, and they, the filaments have these uh, tiny impurities within its uh, metal structure, and when you turn your tube on and turn it off, it gets worse and worse with each turn on, turn off. And the way to prevent it is to turn it on and leave it on. That's right. Don't turn off your amp. However, if you just uh, follow that process, so you just turn on your vacuum tube amp and never turn it off, you face a problem because uh, it keeps the filament very happy. That's good and dandy. But uh, your your, your cathode continuously has to emit electrons to the plate and you are depleting the cathode. So you are killing your tube. Uh, what, so what can you do? So what you need to do is find out a method of how to keep the filament continuously on and when you switch your amp on and off, just switch the high voltage so that when you, when you do not use your amp, then you turn off the high voltage, so there is no force that's pulling the electrons from the cathode to the plate. And, and your filament keeps at its operating temperature, uh, and uh, it's not going through that annealing process that makes the impurities worse and worse. And it's really safe to do that because the filaments are low voltage. It's like uh, between uh, 1.5 volts to uh, usually to about 12.6 volts. That's where most of the filament voltages are. And, uh, and, and it, it really does not place an extra uh, hazard. So you can leave the amplifier filament on and you can leave for work, it won't burn down your house or nothing like that. I, I've been using, when, when you look at my, my set amp, I've uh, had the filaments on in that amp for about, I don't know, maybe like 10 years, and not, not turning it off. It, so it, it, it's a really safe process to do that. And it has uh, one additional advantage in addition to in improving the tube life because you are keeping the filament always warmed up. When you turn on your amplifier, the warm-up time is drastically reduced. That's right. So that little amp there, so when you look at it, the power transformer for it, it's about a 500 watt core, and it's a one watt output amplifier. And, uh, and when I turn it on, it requires about 24 hours to fully warm up. And the bigger your transformers are, the longer it takes for an amp to warm up. However, I'm keeping all the filaments heated constantly and then I just need to flip on the high voltage. And when I do that, uh, the amp is immediately warm. I don't need to wait any time for the amp to warm up. Depending on the speakers, I have to wait for the speakers to warm up, but the amp is perfectly warm. So you remember last time I showed you guys uh, that nice little transformer that I got, the triad transformer that I'm using for, uh, for the Ampex amplifiers. So that's why I'm doing that trick so that the filament can use uh, that, a constant source and the power switch will just switch the high voltage. 
So I hope I give ideas now to everyone how to improve your tube life and how to drastically cut down warm-up time for your amplifiers. So thank you for watching. Sorry if the videos are shaky. I have a, a little bit of a stand thing here, but it's not fully working yet. So just please bear with me. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.